Sparkle in the Light by Anne Kate Sullivan. Sparkle saw Grandmother Izzy walking through the misty garden collecting flowers and went outside to join her. The colourful blossoms were so beautiful that Sparkle put her hands together and whispered a prayer to the wind. When we shine our light on the world, all things heal, said Izzy, responding to her granddaughter's meditation. Observing that her granddaughter was a little quiet, Izzy asked Sparkle how she was feeling. A dark cloud is visiting me today, Grandmother, Sparkle replied, and I'm going to have to take special care of myself. What is this dark cloud? asked Izzy thoughtfully. The dark cloud follows me around sometimes and tries to make me think that I'm under the weather. Can't you feel it? asked Sparkle. Yes, I sure do, replied Izzy. When the blahs are around, we need extra amounts of love and goodness. Sparkle giggled. Yes, that's a good name for it. The blah. It comes along uninvited and wants to take my joy away. Sparkle turned and looked at her grandmother and said, But I have a special secret. Tell me, whispered her grandmother. The blah just wants to be loved, and really it wishes to shine too. It's just out of sorts, said Sparkle in a low voice. If you don't let it bring you down, it goes away, she added, sweeping the air with her fingers. It sounds like he is a very unwelcome guest, said Izzy. Let's ask him to leave. I love hibiscus flowers, nasturiums, honeysuckle, nettles and mint leaves, said Sparkle in a matter-of-fact tone. I like to taste the sweet honeysuckle and drink mint tea. Then she added, and blackberry violets, white roses and many more. Do you eat all these flowers and leaves when you're walking around in your garden? asked Izzy playfully. You can eat them all, and the vegetables too, like carrots and peas. But white roses prefer to be sniffed because their perfumes help you lighten up, said Sparkle, breathing in deeply as though smelling a garden full of roses. Izzy whistled. My goodness, Sparkle, you certainly do notice the world around you. And did you tell me about red, orange, gold, yellow, green, blue, violet and white plants for a reason? Yes, we are human, light beings, and we all need to eat rainbows. Izzy threw her head back and laughed out loud. I love you, Sparkle, she exclaimed. The blah can't stand rainbows, said Sparkle. And of course there's something else you have to do if you want to chase the dark clouds away completely and totally, she added. What is that? asked her grandmother. You have to laugh a lot. And then Sparkle started to gurgle. Slowly the gurgle became a crackle, which grew into a chuckle. Izzy began to chortle, and then Sparkle and her grandmother laughed out loud. Sparkle suddenly bent over and began to roar with laughter. Sparkle's mother, Alice, walked in just then with beets and carrots from the garden and saw her daughter and mother laughing. Sparkle began to doing a frog hop. Alice looked at them for a moment and then she also doubled over and began to cry, out of sheer joy. They all three laughed so hard they began to squeak and wheeze. Eventually they sank to the floor and held their bellies. The amusement continued until they were rolling around and laughing uncontrollably.